Just like Justin Bieber before her, Becky G started out on YouTube. Yes, the singer of the hit Shower has come far since those posts at the tender age of 11. But the road to fame is a long one, and it takes so much more than a good voice and a catchy tune. Tonight, we get an inside look at the star-making machinery that can transform a wannabe into the next big thing. Here's ABC's Rachel Smith. Problems by Iggy Azalea and Ariana Grande is the anthem of 2014. These young starlets skyrocketed from obscurity to the top of the charts in a matter of months. But securing a shot at megastardom takes much more than just talent. There's a calculated marketing machine devoted to turning out music idols. Hi, guys. And now, all bets on her. About to get crazy. How are you? There we go. At 17, Becky G is a singer and rapper posed to be the next superstar. We're invited behind the scenes for a glimpse into the making of the next pop princess. In the shower. And I love you too. Backstage at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, Becky seems genuinely surprised at how fast the proverbial it is all happening. I'm gonna take a deep breath, say look cute for your picture. When girls come in either dressed like me or they have crazy breakdowns, I'm like, I don't know how to react sometimes. It's just so heartwarming for me. Brother! Sister! On this oh, night, she's Alex. opening for Demi Lovato. It's the first time the Inglewood, California native is performing in her hometown venue. I'm here because I just want to keep it quick for you guys. See, that's why Becky G is gonna be major. And eager rookie Becky lets it show. <laughs> The size feels a little bit bigger tonight. This is like a dream, but it's real life right now. So it's like in my head, it's built up to be a lot bigger than what it really is. To think that just a few years ago, this was but a dream. Nope, one she was following yet. by performing covers on YouTube. I started rapping at 11, which is kind of crazy because what was I rapping about? Barbies, like. Her videos, like this cover of Kanye West's song, Otis, quickly went viral and even caught the attention of famed producer, Dr. Luke. He comes up and he's like, yo, what's up, I'm Dr. Luke. And I was like, hold up, rewind, Dr. Luke, the man known for number one hits, wanted to meet me. What? Dr. Luke's number one hits are inescapable. He's behind songs like Roar by Katy Perry and Timber by Kesha. I sang songs to him on the guitar. I was like, here, yeah, these are some of the songs that I've recorded and written. In 10 minutes, he just like offered me my deal. Becky says her relationship with the producer and her Kimosabi RCA record label is like a second family. She also credits the two for helping her reach the top 20 on the Billboard Hot 100 with her single, Shower. They've set her up for maximum exposure with hot collaborations from Will I Am on Problem to Mr. Worldwide himself, Pitbull on Can't Get Enough. She's uniquely positioned to appeal to a wider fan base thanks to her Latin flair. And on tour, she's opening for the biggest names in music. I was touring with Demi, I was on tour with Katy Perry and Jason Derulo. Name dropper. I know, right? <laughs> I, you gotta say it, you know, I'm proud. And oh yeah, she's also the latest face of CoverGirl Cosmetics. I'm Becky G. Easy, breezy, beautiful CoverGirl. But all this fame comes with sacrifices. I'll never know, you know, what a homecoming is like, or getting in trouble by the teachers, or going to the principal's office. But I don't regret making the decision that I made. We caught up with Becky on set for the shoot of her latest video. It's official. We are now recording the Can't Stop Dancing music video. Oh, yeah, this is like the first time people are really going to get to see big girl Becky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Selling the big girl image can sometimes mean amping up the sex appeal. I'm here a bit. Keep these moments going. She says that trademark tooth gap is here to stay. The fans love it, and yeah. then the haters hate it, of course. But are people asking you, oh, are you going to lose the gap? Why should I change myself to be what everybody else wants me to be? Can't Stop Dancing showcases Becky's Latina roots, and like the bubbly hit Shower, it too seems pegged for greatness.
sick. There have been critics actually criticize Shower, saying mm -hmm. that it's overly poppy and that it lacks Becky G authenticity and attitude. Those lyrics are genuine feelings of what I was feeling. Yeah. So how can they tell me, oh, that's not real, that's not genuine. As an artist, I feel like you have the right to grow and evolve and change things up when you want to change things up. I won't stop till I get to the top. I'm so, I'm so Becky from the black. She says she's still in control of her own career and image, answering critics in this J-Lo cover, Becky from the Block. You don't have a sense that you are selling out in any Way. Sometimes they, you do get caught up in, in the midst of becoming a product, a brand, and right. not having a say in any of that. But best believe, I have no problem speaking up. Behind the scenes, that confidence, she says, comes from having a close-knit family always by her side. Yeah. My parents are so cool. They're yeah. so chill, super hip, too. They know what's up. Of course, here and there, they'll be like, OK, that's showing a little bit too much, or mm -hmm. Rekka, mm -hmm. I don't know. You're still daddy's you know. little girl. Yeah. All of this is for your little girl. Can you believe it? I'm not used to showing up to sets like this and being about her, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Becky's parents, Alex and Frank, have struggled financially over the years. At one point, the family of five slept in Becky's grandparents' garage. We kind of just took the punches and when one struggles we all struggle and when one triumphs we all do. I may be the one with the talent but I don't have my license you know I need my mom to drive me around and I need dad to still be the breadwinner of the house. Y'all know who's in the house. Are y'all ready to keep this party going? I'm nowhere near where I want to be like in my career in the future but I feel like I'm really starting to really get into it and it's it's only the beginning. For Nightline, I'm Rachel Smith in Los Angeles.